you ever have to sort through files by name or file type? Well, that could take forever. And in this Wise Out Short, we're going to show you how you can do it really quick. The first thing you'll need is Power Automate Desktop. Power Automate Desktop can be found with most Office licenses included. In fact, it's built into Windows 11. First thing you're going to want to do is click on Add Flow, and we're going to give this a name. Sort by file type. And then you're going to click on Create. On the left-hand side, we have all of our actions. First action we want is a folder action, and we're going to go to Get Files in Folder. The folder that we want to go to is in our drive and in Files to Sort. I don't want to include subfolders, but you might want to. I don't want to filter it, I'm going to return everything. Click Save. Now I've got all of the files, or their locations, stored inside of this variable called files. So I'm going to need to loop over that and pull each one out. Go to loops, for each, drag that in. Where are all the values? They're in the files variable. So that's now got the location of all of the files. Great, what do I want to do to each? I want to do something different to each one. Go to conditionals and it's a switch. Think of a switch as a nested if. So you're performing multiple trues and then at the very end we'll have a false. The value to check is whatever is currently in our loop, which is the current item. So that's the file that we're looping over out of our list of files. Click save. What condition do we want to test? We want to test a case condition. And the case I want to do is not equals, but does it contain .xlsx, i.e. is it an Excel file? With the file extension, I don't really need to worry about the case sensitivity because they'll all be lowercase, but if you're paranoid, you can always turn that on. Click on save. Now I need to tell it what I want to do. I'm going to go down to, not folder this time, but files. And in files, I'm going to tell it I want to move the file. It's then going to ask me which files to move. I want to move the one inside of my variable, the current item, because remember that's what we're looping over, and the destination folder is going to be where all my files were before. So back inside of my drive, back inside of files to sort, but this time I'm going to choose Excel. Click OK. If the file already exists, do I want to keep it or do I want to overwrite it? Uh, it won't be a problem in this scenario, so I'm going to do nothing. Click Save. Awesome. Now all I need to do is highlight these two. So I'm going to hold control, click on both of these, and then I'm going to give it a control C, control V to duplicate that. And then I'm going to click on the beginning, holding control, select both of these, control C, control V. That'll paste it in again. So the second time I want to check if it is a dot P B I X, click save. And then I want to move it to the location of Power BI. Save that. And then one more time. And then one more time, I'm going to go in and I'm going to copy and paste this. And the last one was our dot doc x. And I want to move that into my word folder. Now, unfortunately, there are some others in here that are different data types. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just group those together as other, and then I can come back and sort it later. So I'm going to minimize that. I'm going to go back up to my conditionals and I'm going to have a default case. So if none of the above case statements have returned true, do this one. So I'm going to drag that back inside of my switch. The default case that I want to do is I want to check if a folder already exists. So I'm going to go to folder. If folder exists, drag that in. Which folder do I want to check if it exists? Again, I'm going down here might be worth copying and pasting this onto your clipboard so you don't have to keep trying to find it. Files to sort, click OK. And the folder I want to check if it exists is other. If the folder exists, I just want to do a move. 
So I'm gonna copy and paste that in there. And I want to send my new file type to other. Go back up to your conditionals and I want an else. I'm gonna drag that inside of an if. Else, what I want to do is inside of folder, I want to create a folder. The folder I want to create is gonna be in the same place as the rest of my folders. So inside of my files sort, and the folder name will be other. Save that. And then one last time, move our files and move them into the other. Awesome. So from the top, it's going to open up all of the files in there and store the locations. It's going to look e over each of these files and store it in the current item. For each current item, it's going to test it which extension it ends in. And if it's none of those three, it's going to test if a folder called other exists. If it does, it's going to move the file in there. Otherwise, it's going to create the file. So I'm going to click on run and bring my files to the front. And as it goes through the list, you'll see it's moving each of the Excel ones into Excel. It's hit the PDF and found there's none called other. So it creates another one. Then it's done the Word. Then it's done the Power BI. And it is that easy to go in and put all of your files in new locations. I hope you've enjoyed this short and I hope to see you in the next one.